Hello, my name is Franklin McMahon from Franklin McMahon Studio. We do video production, web development, photography, marketing, lots of cool creative stuff. Our website is right there on the screen if you want to check us out. So I'm getting a lot of great questions on marketing in particular. And I wanted to do a couple different series on the kind of the secrets of marketing. There's, you know, we could take three hours and talk about marketing. There's a lot of different ways. But if you create content that's original, you really can set yourself apart from the competition. I mean, it's a huge, huge advantage. And I have this little um, thing I want you to remember. It's OPAC, Original, Produced, Archived, and Consistent. I had to write this down so I wouldn't forget it. So original is obviously producing original content, stuff that can't be found anywhere else. So no matter what you do, you could be a graphic designer, musician, real estate agent. You know, if you produce stuff and information that can't be found elsewhere, people are going to gravitate to that. You know, if you become a source or a source of info or a source of entertainment, if you're producing a cartoon, something that's highly original that can't be found, you know, these characters can't be found elsewhere, you have a huge advantage. People can only go one place to see that stuff, and that's right to your website or your spot on the web or wherever you are. Um, make sure the stuff is archived, too. That's hugely important. A lot of people are on social media, and they're, they're on there all day, and the problem is that stuff rolls off. After a day, it's gone. It's pretty much, I mean, you can kind of look back, but most people won't. So if you have a website that has all your archived video, blog posts, um, anything you're producing, you know, when people discover you online, they'll say, oh, this person seems pretty cool. I'm going to go to their website and see what the heck they're up to. So if they go to the website, they may see a blog that hasn't been updated in three months. They may see some broken links. They may see some YouTube videos that were produced in uh, 1993. Do we have video back in 93? I think we did. I think we did. So, I mean, you want to make sure that you have a whole archive of everything you're doing. You're putting a lot of work into stuff. So if someone discovers you for the first time, they don't know you. They don't know your huge, you know, reputation. They don't know the volume of digital legacy that you've produced. So you want to have a focal point where people can discover you, go to your site and say, wow, this person's done a lot. They could spend hours just going through all the, the different stuff. So last thing is consistent. When you're producing stuff, try to be consistent because it keeps your fans very happy and the public and your clients very happy. If you produce stuff once a week, once a month, once a day, once an hour, that's fairly aggressive. You're producing stuff once an hour. People will start to look forward to that and they'll get into a groove where it's kind of like, oh, I'm looking forward to the next you know, video they're going to do or the next podcast they're going to do. So you want to be consistent. The problem is sometimes you'll blog in a, a flurry of activity. You'll blog every day, and then you won't do anything for like three weeks. So all the people that got excited are waiting, 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 and then they drop off and go elsewhere. So it doesn't matter how, you know, how often. It could be, like I say, once a week, once a month, once a year. Well, maybe a little more than once a year. But you want to make sure you're consistent so people can come to expect when you're going to be putting stuff out there. So, and again... The best leverage you can get is producing original content on your blog or your Facebook fan page or wherever, something that's archived and something that can't be found elsewhere, and something that's compelling enough that people are going to be like, hey, check, check this out. This is pretty interesting. So obviously you want people to share stuff. So it's okay to network on the social media networks, but when people discover you, you want to have a large archive of stuff that you've done so people can say, wow. This guy or girl is pretty cool. They've done a lot. And, uh, and also, it's good to have a website, obviously. You know, stuff that has all your contact info, your bio, and your archive is very compelling. So anyway, try those things with just some ideas, just some ideas I wanted to share with you. Uh, there's a lot of ways to market, huge, and we're going to be talking about these in future episodes. And keep the questions coming. The email is right there on the screen. You can ask me about anything that relates to any of these topics. And if you like this video, click share. Share it on your page on Facebook or retweet it or well, whatever you want. You know, share it if you found it helpful. My name is Franklin McMahon. Again, the website is right there. That has all the stuff that, that I do. You can see my archive on that actual website. And uh, like I said, keep the questions coming. Thanks for tuning in. It's a lot of fun. My name is Franklin McMahon, and we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.